Hey, it's Dave again, and in this video, I want to show you something about validation. I'm going to draw upon the user input that we made in the last video. You see, when you create a web page and you open it to the public, they're going to use it in ways that you don't expect. And sometimes it'd be malicious, sometimes it's just careless errors, but you really have to uh, expect everything. Like in our example, when we type numbers, it works as you'd expect. We type 44, 55. 44 plus 55 equals 99. So that works as expected, but what if they type 44 plus apple? It equals nothing comes back. And actually, if you take a look at our server, it receives 44 and apple. So our server is getting these two values and it's going to try to add them. So what could potentially happen is your server could have issues. So a lot of times what people will do when you have these user input forms is they'll, um, they'll do validation on the, in the, within the web browser before they even consider calling the server because you want to keep your server as safely guarded as possible. You don't want bad data coming to the server because otherwise if one user gives the server bad data, it might cause problems, which will cause problems for other users because the server might go down. So really what you want to do is do that validation. So let's do that. So here's our two text boxes. And if you go to our controllers where we have calculate answer, which is the function that's called when you click equals, um, instead of just saying first num equals this, second num equals this, um, let's, uh, let's first make sure those two numbers are even um, numbers. Actually, let's slip into the variables here, and then before we make the server call, I'll say something like if the two numbers, if actually if if the two inputs are both numbers, then continue. Otherwise, stop it. Actually, um, else we'll say alert. Um, numbers only exclamation exclamation so let's try that and actually so this is just pseudocode I actually have to write the actual code for determining if both these numbers are actually indeed numbers um, that part's gonna be a little more tricky but in the meantime I'll just make this alert for when it's not a number I'll say alert numbers only and then I'll say return which will mean end this function this will exit the function before we call the server so you'll see in a moment. But for now, how do we do if the two inputs are both numbers? So what we have to do is use JavaScript to figure this out. So I don't even know how to do that, and I'm going to search for it. So I'm going to say JavaScript um, is number, is numeric. So it looks like JavaScript has a NAN function. So let's try that is NAN, let's delete this first, that's just pseudocode, we're just writing things out, but let's do the actual code, is NAN first number, and two ampersands, is NAN second num, oops, that should be a capital N, so actually, if we actually have to put explanation point because we want to see if it is a number. So this is going to, is NAN, it means is not a number, will return true if you put Apple. So if um, what we want to do, let me think for a second here, true if not a number. So actually, we should really do is not a number for the first number or which is two pipes is not a number for the second number and that's where we want to put our ever let's, let's do that actually so our if statement now says if the first number or the second number is not a number then you say go away and return but um if they're both okay then we don't even need this else statement we can just continue with the function so really we're only throwing in this if statement right here let's see if this works close this refresh so let's do 22 plus 33 make sure that still works okay that worked let's take a look at our server 
Now let's do 22 plus apple equals boom, numbers only. Okay, so that popped up, you hit okay. And as you can see here, the server was not called. We only have our 2233 call here. So the server was unaffected by this crazy input that the user just tried to put in. So let's just show um, pineapple. Pineapple plus apple equals, sorry bro, numbers only. So that's how you do basic validation. Um, sometimes a framework like Angular, I think it's got built-in uh, validation. Maybe I can do a video on that. But for now, very simple validation. Check if a number is a number. That's like your most basic thing. So be careful out there. See you later.